Um, solar water heating has been what we called the industry all the time I've been in it. About 15, 20 years ago, this word popped up. <coughs> and it went to describe kind of all of the industry, not just water heating. Because we do have many segments of the water heating industry, thermal industry if you wish today. And those segments are swimming pool systems, um, hot water, which is solar hot water, domestic hot water, wash water, the water that you use in your home domestically for showering, uh, doing dishes, whatever you need hot water for. S solar space heating, uh, same kind of equipment we use for solar space heating, heating in the wintertime. And then there's concentrating solar power. That's the one technology I told you about that is looking to compete with photovoltaics as far as the solar technology to produce electricity on a utility scale. Our industry is separated by what we have as temperatures, end use temperatures of the equipment. The end use temperatures, low temperature collectors. This is a low temperature collector, model of one. By the way, whenever I have these, of course, I don't haul around full size stuff with me. This is a swimming pool collector. Heats to a low temperature. Um, this is called a medium temperature collector. This is a typical hot water collector. I'm going to go through those more in depth later. And then we have concentrating collectors, which actually take the sunlight and concentrate it on a spot and produce very high temperatures. Low temperature collector is, I'll pass those around too when we get, get to looking at them. We're going to look at them a little, a little more in depth there. Low temperature collectors, good for up to maybe 120 degrees, more like 100 though. They're made for keeping a swimming pool in the 80s. Medium temperature, hot water, space heating. High temperature, no residential application. <clears throat> pool collectors, concentrators, and we have two different types of collectors that are medium temperature. We have flat plates and evacuated tubes. This is a flat plate. Why? The plate is flat. This is an evacuated tube. Of course, it's a tube.